And for more on the Summer Davos, we've got Peter Ho joining us live from Beijing, professor at Tsinghua University and a research fellow with the London School of Economics. Peter, China seems to be adjusting to shifting numbers, to a shifting reality, if you will. How is this Summer Davos different than the last one, uh, keeping in mind those uh, adjusting figures? Well, I think uh, the main difference is, of course, the whole backdrop of the U.S.-China trade war. Uh, and that has caused uh, enormous uncertainties in global markets. Uh, and we can see that, uh, despite the fact that at the G20 meeting uh, last week uh, there is now a truce, uh, the general feeling is still of uncertainty. And uh, people are quite worried uh, what will happen over the coming months uh, for U.S.-China trade relations. So much of what China is trying to do is based on the long term. How, how is that complicated by the man currently in the White House? I mean, it seems one week it's a trade war, the next week best friends, a truce. How can Beijing plan accordingly? Well, I think it's, it's quite clear that uh, uh, President Trump uh, has a completely different style of uh, uh, geopolitics than all of his predecessors. And uh, his uh, sort of confrontational and more unilateral style uh, creates a lot of um, distrust. And I think that distrust is uh, quite difficult to regain on a short term. Uh, so despite the fact that we have a truce at this moment, I think most people are quite doubtful whether that will mean that the trade war will also end quite soon. And I think that is actually the sort of the price that we have paid for the U.S.-China uh, trade war and the sort of politics that Trump uh, uh, engages in. I mean, the fact that uh, uh, at the latest G20 meeting, he again stressed that he would not commit to the climate change accord of uh, Paris also again uh, shows that the U.S. in the short term will not really stick to a multilateral strategy. And I think that's quite worrisome uh, for the coming years. So I think uh, China is also worried what will happen if Trump will be reelected. But that's, of course, a, a different uh, thing for the coming time. But what does that mean practically? Does Beijing plan for the worst and hope for the best? Uh, I think that's uh, how you could basically sum it up. Um, Beijing will be very careful, uh, also looking around how uh, Trump is engaging with other states, such as Iran, of course, recently. Uh, and uh, that shows that it is very difficult to have long-term trust in the things that he says. Uh, and I think that will affect very clearly how Beijing will uh, sort of set out its strategy for the coming time. It will be very cautious. Uh, I think it will be also very realistic. But at the same time, also knowing that something definitely needs to be done uh, about the global economy and uh, how China and the U.S. are engaging in this. All right. Peter Ho there from Tsinghua University. Thank you for joining us.